Welcome back, guys, to another episode of Greece. So, guys, as you guys know from last episode, we took a ton of land. In fact, we've expanded our realm by a lot, and we've nearly gotten to a million population. I mean, we're just right there. It's so important. So, anyways, right now what I'm going to do is increase educational costs, um, kind of increase our admin points so we can start, like, doing more stuff, and try to start forming a decent economy, okay? Okay, and I'm also, what I'm thinking of doing, guys, is... Okay, never mind. <laughs> I was thinking of that, but apparently I can't do it, so we're not going to do it. But what I was thinking, guys, was I was going to go try to go and invade Algiers, but apparently apparently the uh, French are being all buddy-buddy with them, so we cannot do that. So what I'm going to do instead is just go after the usual uh, Johor province, because, as you guys know, this is a very rich province, no matter what game you play. And it usually provides a lot of good minerals for almost anything you do. We also could attack the Nam. I don't think we could establish a protectorate. Could I? Uh, no, I'd have to do a conquest. But conquest might actually be fun for them. Mm, but it would be a risk because I do have lots of infamy. But before we do that, I cannot forget this. We have to start the next crisis. So that we make sure that we're always putting pressure on the Ottoman Empire and that we're expanding quite rapidly. Or we could go after... Mm. I almost feel like we should go after the Egyptians. Just because they're really easy to go after, but no, I should probably go after them when I actually have a decent sized army. So, yeah, no to the Egyptians idea. Just no. Uh, but what we should go after, like I said, is probably going after... I can also go after Korea if I really want to, but no. Let's go after Johor. Let's just get our usual Johorian province. And since last time we, because getting that money will be very important for us. And our economy's starting to fail a little bit, so cut back. Just cut back just a little bit. Don't want to cut back too much, but just cut back just a little bit. So we're making some money and increase by a lot. There we go. <laughs> so right now, Greece is expanding all across the Mediterranean. We are definitely not staying put in whatever lands we are owning. And we are definitely being the mighty and all, you know, mighty and powerful Greeks. We definitely don't take anything from nobody, and we are rapidly. Holy shoot, that is a lot of people in luxurious goods. Okay, let's get back to full educational costs. Uh, we are doing the best we can to educate our civilization about what what they need to do to survive in the new world, uh, so that we can, so that they can learn how to invent stuff and to give us more production and speed. We got 4.9 infamy, which isn't too bad. That's not bad at all, in fact. Especially since we're establishing a colonial empire. That's not bad at all. So, uh, a colonial power, though, is going to be pretty weak. Especially when the time we actually do want to go do some colonizing. But, heck, I can't really, I can't really worry about that right now. Because we're still just trying to build a decent economy. Okay, so now Johor is ripe for the taking. So, the British have tons of soldiers over here. So, I'm doubt, I seriously doubt it that they're not going to be able to just come in and destroy the Jehoians. You know, there we go. Yep. Now, we just wait until they destroy it, and naturally, a new factory can only be an opening for new stuff. Uh, no, I don't really care. They can be militant all they want. I'll always have allies to go crush them. We need gold, baby! Gold! Uh, okay. So, yeah, we are not taxing the the rich, but there are no rich in my land. That's kind of a little bit maddening right there. But we do have one soldier protecting our land against all threats. All threats. All threats. All threats. And oh my goodness, Russia, you just you went in and destroyed Prussia. Uh, I kind of expected that though, because Prussia chose the wrong side to side with, and it got the self destroyed. So. That's what happens when you do that. So, yeah, we're just waiting for the uh, for the British to go in and go send some of their army to go destroy the Johor. As I've said before, they will not let Johor come in and destroy their land. It's just going to take them a little bit to do what they need to do. Um, and then from here, oh, it seems like the wars for Egypt have always started to begin. That's pretty good. That means we can, in a couple turns, start invading all of this land too. While the Ottomans are invading up here, or I mean invading, spend as much as we need, invading right here, we're going to be invading right here, 
cut them off, and that way we get a little bit back here so that we can start sending more men to the colonies, which helps us a lot. Okay, we gain five industrial goods, which are good. Muzzle, blow, muzzle loaded rifles, we really gotta get. Let's see, do we have everything I want? No, we still need to get experimental stuff, and then we're basically good. Let's see. No, we still need education. God dang. We still need that educational influence stuff before we can really start, really, really, I mean, really start producing a lot of education. Because we're going to, we're going to be playing cat and mouse for a couple of years before we actually gain, the, before we actually catch up to the Europeans. And the British are coming in to save our butts again. Oh, gosh dang, I love you, British. <laughs> Even though we fought last episode, we, we, we are seriously like the biggest bros ever. I mean, there is positively nothing you guys won't do for us, and there's positively nothing I will do for you legally. So, yeah. Biggest change ever. So, once I conquer that, boom. It's ours. <laughs> so, now we got a good South Asian little colony. That should be producing a lot of good minerals for us. Now, it stabilized our economy even more. Um, full admin. Can't go up to full yet. Okay. Let's go up to 55, though, so now we should start having better control over our country. Let's see. Administrative-wise, yes, we're starting to have better and better control of our country, which is good. Okay. Next thing we could probably do is probably lower taxes to the middle class, so that the middle class can be a little bit more, you know, adventurous when it comes to trying to do stuff. Plus, taxes in general will help our economy grow. Well, not help our economy grow. Help people grow. Which then will help Ergo help us in our economy and just help everywhere. Okay, so now that we have all this, it seems like the, uh... It seems like the, uh, mighty Ottomans are invading the, uh, Egyptians. As expected, I expected this to happen, so... What we're going to do is try to jump in on the bandwagon of invasions, um... But, since it is happening a little bit earlier than I expected, we're going to have to use... Our good old friends, the, uh... We're gonna have to use our good old friends the UK to come in and help us. And we, we might as well get another. We actually should get a demand concession thing so we can get. Ah, dang it! <laughs> okay, now I'm getting really lots of infamy, which is kind of to be expected because I am being an aggressive expansionist. But that's kind of expected for Greece because we really have to be an aggressive, expansive nation. We can't just let anyone pick us around. We have to be the aggressors. Be aggressive. Be, be aggressive. That is our chance. We are being aggressive. So, anyways, though, we're just gonna, we're just gonna basically let the British fight the war again. Oh, gosh. There, there's gonna be a lot of that in this, in a lot of these episodes. I swear to you guys, though, by at some point, we will have an army to fight almost anyone we want to, but that will not be for a very long time. But... I am showing you guys a different tactic that most YouTubers don't use and trying to be Greece, which is kind of stupid because if they use this tactic a lot more, they would probably gain... You know what? Let's gain a Kazas Bedlai on Denmark. <laughs> and trouble is brewing... Ah, gosh dang it. <laughs> right when I got that Kazas Bedlai. Ah, okay, so that spies 1845. I have one year to get that Kazas Bedlai on them. Wait. Yeah, I have one year to get that Kazas Belai, so let's hope that no one joins against me. Backers, okay. Let's see. Alright, let's see. You guys gonna join France? No, you guys are gonna join Prussia. You guys gonna join France? Yes. You guys gonna join France? Yes. You guys gonna join France? No. You guys gonna join France? No. We might actually lose this time. Okay, that's not good. But if they do lose, I hope I lose pretty quickly, because I want to go to war against the Egyptians, so... It's very important that we start focusing in on that. So since I'm probably going to lose this territory right here, probably, I mean, it's most likely I'm not going to gain it this time because the Ottomans protected themselves pretty well. Um, I'm just going to have to wait, let them legitimize the citizenship. Uh, I should gain Austria, though, on my side. And, okay, laissez-faire, or we need definite laissez-faire. We need to go laissez-faire hardcore. Um, the Swedish should actually be a little bit of a difficulty. In fact, this is actually going to be the most evenly fought war out of them all. Seriously. I mean, last war we had was really kind of one-sided, but 
Since it's going to be Russia, Austria, and France all on one side. Yeah. All side, and then Denmark, I mean, I mean, uh, Prussia, Sweden, and Belgium. I think Prussia could actually stand a chance this time. Plus, of course, the Ottomans, who are now a secondary power, I'm guessing. Yes. So that means we should... They're starting to really crumble, which is good. That's exactly what we want to do. We want to make sure the Ottomans keep crumbling and keep dying, because we want to make sure they just fall apart, in all honesty. But if they do... Okay, let's hope if they do fight a war, it doesn't last that long. That's all I'm hoping. If they do fight a war, it does not last that long, and we can easily get out of it. Pluralism. Uh, yes, we do want lots of pluralism. Uh, okay. So, we have a one troop here again. Oh gosh, we're in about the same position we were in last time. We have one troop, ready to fight. He's ready to go whenever the war breaks out. Um... Reactionary, of course, wins the house. Um, actually, Austria might stay out of it this time. Oh, no, they joined. And Belgium, you guys aren't going to join? Actually, that'd be really nice if Belgium did not join. Don't join, don't join, Belgium. Stay neutral. Yes! Good job, Belgium, for staying neutral. Okay, so that means this is going to be a way more evenly fought battle. It is actually, to be honest, I'm not involved. Oh, wait. French War, Polish Liberation. Oh, this is Polish Liberation. Oh, gosh. I thought this was, uh, hmm. I, I, I was cheering for the long event here, guys. That still kind of stinks because now that's a war that kind of cost me some time. I could go invade some people. Oh, that's kind of sickening to me now. That some other nation is trying to gain their independence. Wow. Okay, so uh, while that's going to be going on, now we have to rebuild our tension with one of our legions while they fight over, you know, dog fight it. I'm actually hoping that the Polish win their independence. Um, will they though? Probably not, because this is pretty much stacked inside the uh, Russian, Prussia, France alliance that's going on right now. It is a pretty powerful alliance, it's probably not going to be broken. Okay, but we are, we're doing pretty good right now in our, in our game. We're just kind of casually integrating as many people as we can. And, you know, letting our people grow. We have 1.1 million people now. That is about, in 10 years, I grew my people from 250k to 1.1 million. I don't know the exact stats of growth, but I think that's almost like a 200% growth rate right there. Uh, even though it was somewhat conquest that did give us that massive population boost, it still counts in my opinion. It still counts. So, anyways, this is always kind of funny. Britain is the most aggressive person ever when it comes to invading France. Uh, just not going to help you. It's just not going to work. Yeah, it, they're going to crush this pretty hardcore. Like, I mean, it, it's almost guaranteed that they're not going to win this. Okay, so let's go into idealism. To kind of help us tech down a little bit quicker, these technologies. Um, from there, I think I'm going to just try to keep going down the uh, educational tree. Get my education as strong as possible to gain like 22%. We want to make sure we're still pumping out as maximum amount of education as we can. Also, I'm starting increasing my admin power to like 65. Can I push it? Yes, I can. I can push my economy to that. I'll start decreasing taxes on the poor just a little bit. You know, the poor don't have to be taxed as much, but the poor are generally what we gain most of our taxes from, because I have lots of money built up in the bank right now, so I'm pretty fine there. Uh, this war should be over in a little bit, though. Um, it seems like <laughs> Russia is taking even more. This is, like, the ultimate Russia. Um, we lost our Casas Belli against Egypt. That's kind of sad. I was kind of hoping that we could gain it, um, and let's see, who are you allied with? Allied with Prussia, okay. I'm gonna see what I could do about getting an alliance with, uh, no, I can't get an alliance with them, dang it. I was hoping I could get an alliance with them, but apparently not, uh, but what I'm hoping what's gonna happen is that the British are gonna come in, because I'm hoping I can use a British kind of causes Belli to come in and go help me out with a war with, with these guys, but we'll have to see. Um, for right now, the war is going terrible in their favor. Um, have the... No, it seems like there's no fighting over here. Wow. Oh, wait, no, yes, the Russians are invading. That's good. So, what we're going to do 
in the meantime, while we're just kind of sitting here watching the world burn, we're going to uh, just casually and stealthily um, declare another uh, war on the Algerian coastline. Oh, they could join in. Okay, okay, they can join in. Okay, 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 okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna totally do this. We're going to gain another Cosmeli against the. Uh... Gosh dang it! Hate all this infamy game, but it's all worth it in the end. Um, we're gonna gain another Cosmeli against the Egyptians. Get their land, steal all of this from them. That way, we have a good access to the Suez Canal in the future. And they're coming for us, everyone! Those Egyptians are coming for us with those pyramid thingies that they made. They're coming for us! Aye. And the Delta River. That's how I know they're coming for us. Yes, yes, good job, Prospector. You totally are the wisdom of the world. Okay, so now that we got this, um, they're all going to be slightly bit occupied. Oh my goodness, they released Poland. Not in the way I was thinking, though, but they released Poland and Prussia is basically out of here. So this is like the perfect time to attack. Um, I'm going to demand a concession of, Sun of Sunni. Of Sinai. My allies should join in. There we go. There we go. Alright, so now the British are going to come in whenever they want to and destroy whatever they want, as they usually do. Um, I might even help in this war, to be honest. So let's build like one transport. Not very many, just one transport. And we're just gonna go send it to the islands and go have fun. Okay. And, but we're going to have to wait a little bit for the British to get their army over here. They're probably pretty tired, war exhausted. It's understandable, but they should eventually... I mean, it's going to take a really long time, but they should eventually come over here. Yeah, eventually. They I mean, the, the odds of them not coming over are very, very slim. But once they come in, go conquer wherever I need them to conquer. Then I think after that, we're going to spend like a couple years of getting our... Our, um war debt down so we could just relax you know kind of you know just sit there relax drink some cocoa I actually no, eat some grapes yeah that's what that's what Greek people do eat some grapes and you know just kind of chill just not really do anything okay can we my one soldier quickly quickly oh shoot it's like oh shoot okay there we go we transport run yay ha <laughs> ha we escaped with our one soldier. We are sieging this little province. Yeah, look at that. Greece is helping. Oh gosh, that is actually pretty terrible that we can't even. <laughs> okay. Russia wants military access? Sure. You guys are our buddies, I think. Yes. You guys are now second day power, which is kind of scary. Who surpassed you? The Netherlands surpassed you. That usually never happens. Okay, but at least, um, too many alliances, okay. Yeah, you guys just will never say yes to an alliance with me. Oh, and the British are helping! Huzzah! Great job, British, you guys make me, let's just hope you guys don't finish before me, because that would make me look bad, you know, because this is my island. I just want to tell you that now, this is my island. And let's see, can we have another war goal? Like, seriously, the war is not going well enough, yet, but... As soon as the British actually land a proper army down in the actual f actual area, we'll be fine. The British just have to get it back together though, because they have lost a lot of troops. Oh yeah. Waiting for the British to get more troops, so that we can go invade more people. Yeah. Okay, so internal crisis of Albania- Oh, you gotta be kidding me. The Albanians beat me to a crisis. Okay. So, the Albanians were jerks, and... Is there any kind of Greek movement, liberation movement? Thank goodness there is a Greek liberation movement. Otherwise, I'd be completely mad about now. I'm just gonna be honest, like, I'd be completely mad about now if, like... If, like, the Greeks were not on my side. So, yeah, we are teching down as fast as we can in all these, like, educational areas. Because we're not going to be doing warfare for a long time, so it's not even really helpful. We conquered the island. There we go. You better not be demanding what I hope... Oh, no. 
Really, Britain? Really? You guys wanted the one thing you should not take. I don't even... You guys are idiots. I'm gonna... You know, now I'm gonna have to turn on you. It's, it's gonna have to happen now. And with my one troop, I'm going to go try and invade... Invade... The, uh... Yeah. We're gonna go try to invade Egypt. With one troop. Can we build one more other troop? No, we cannot. We're also increasing our re reactions to this place, so I'm just gonna go put my troops back over here. And we're casually sieging Alexandria, but that's not actually the right place we need to be. We need to be in Dermont. Let's get right there. Give their beliefs as we respected, and I have no I have not been supporting my men this entire time. So this is gonna be an interesting experience for everyone to find out if my troops can deal with uncivilized people. Probably not. <laughs> but I must be honest with you, my troops are probably gonna be pretty bad. And yep. <sighs> yeah, I saw that coming. I saw that coming. But we have one ship, and you know what? That is good enough for me. But I wanna thank you guys for watching. This is a fun let's play. I'm having so much fun doing this. So I wanna thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.